Louisiana business owner and father of five is paying a hefty price for his expressing his Catholic faith. This follows an Instagram post where he commemorated the celebration of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. A backlash followed, as did national headlines. Joining me to discuss what has happened since is Louisiana native and business owner of Backwater Foie Gras, Ross McKnight. Ross, thanks for being here. Last weekend, you put up uh, this Instagram post, and I'll read it to people. It said, the push to have every mainstream value and holiday represented in some way in our Louisiana ought to make no sense at all to any Louisians uh, unless recognized as a forward offensive by an ever encroaching enemy that has sought to, for generations, to destroy our unique culture, which is so intimately tied to our Catholic identity. The attempted coup of the month of June is part of that offensive. But I can suggest some antidotes to a false pride. And you go on to list uh, enthroning of the Sacred Heart in your home, wearing the Sacred Heart badge, praying the rosary for the conversion of souls. Now, you own a small family business, Ross, and you've lost two-thirds of your customers since that post appeared on Instagram. Were your clients predominantly restaurants in New Orleans? What's their beef here? Certainly. So thank you for having me, Ave Maria. Um, I lost two, I would say, two-thirds of our restaurant accounts, which is significant for us because that's the predominant part of our business. We do mm -hmm. uh, much less as far as retail goes. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's just, it's, it's, a mounting, it's a mounting frustration that they have with us, you know, because if we, if we maintain our Catholic faith, and, and we do speak about that, we're not quiet about that. Um, I think throughout the years that's been apparent with at, mm. at least our farm, or at least within the last year. Mm. And, uh, you know, seeing, seeing, of course, Pride Month becoming more and more prominent, I, um, I, you know, had a sense of righteous anger and wanted to promote the Sacred Heart and reclaim, you know, reclaim the month, as many have said before. Um, I think mm. I know there's a Reclaim the Month movement out there. But, mm. uh, yeah, it's for the Sacred Heart. It's always been for the Sacred Heart. I mean, we can go back to 1856, but it's, it's really, this is something that, heaven has wanted to promote for hundreds of years and so that's our job as louisiana catholics why, why do you think this post enraged activists and and these businesses who had contracted with you for years i mean where's the diversity of thought here certainly i think i think it's probably just a tipping point right um a, a little more pointed than things perhaps i've said before but it is i suppose i suppose there's irony here and that my um, my criticism was that this culture that is from outside, right, is something that's being forced on us. And then the response was indeed to to uh, express that sort of force and rage against our our business. So um, I think that that was all that they had left was to let us go, you know. Mm. And so that's what happened. You have very deep roots in uh, Louisiana soil. Uh, you celebrate your French ancestry, you, you live out your Catholic faith, and you've said that you don't have a litmus test for your customers, uh, and you've been open about your faith. I mean, you signed uh, several of your posts with For God and King in French. Are, are you surprised by the reaction of customers toward you? I mean, this, this didn't come out of left field for them. Um, no, I'm, 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 you know, it was, yeah, I guess it was, it was interesting that it happened now because it's, it's it's not like they don't know who I am, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, these are people I have I see very frequently. Um, anybody who wants to know what type of person I am can go look on our Instagram page, right, mm -hmm. and, or look on our Facebook page, or look at our farm blog. But it's uh, yeah, so so I guess it's it's perhaps it was just for some person who was more than others offended by. Um, our rejection of pride and our support for the Sacred Heart, it, I suppose it was just the tipping point because it was in very close succession that we received those two uh, cancellations. And, and what are they telling you? What did those businesses tell you? And tell me the most surprising thing that came out of this entire controversy for you. Certainly. Uh, the first one, uh, you know, mentioned the word, you know, essentially because I'm a homophobe, they can't uh, purchase my products. I always find the word homophobe very silly because I don't, I don't think we're afraid of them, right? Um, that's certainly not the case here. 
Um, and then the other statement was was uh, a chef saying that they were, we'll just say that they were proudly, you know, uh, uh, th- identified with with sexual disorder themselves, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is, of course, a very interesting thing to to want to share and be proud of, I think. Mm. Um, so, and the surprising thing is is that you know we went from from a day of just just utter distress right thinking how can we what what are we going to do now mm-hmm. and um you know having those moments of of just just it, it felt it felt insane to be for instance preparing to receive birds that were being shipped to us in the morning that uh the majority of which didn't have a home <laughs> right mm-hmm. um that had to be eventually processed and, and go to one of these restaurants mm-hmm. um so all of that, of course, sort of more than reversed itself almost overnight. And we, I've I've mentioned to a couple of friends, I've like I've I've just been, just been a, a babe in the hand of God, you know, just just providence has has taken care of us ever since then. And I, I haven't had to think about much as far as what decisions I need to make. It seems very clear, hmm. and it seems that, um, you know, the, the outpouring of, of God's love is. I guess the most astounding thing. So you, especially. So, I, I mean, I know you've lost some business because of these posts and this expression of your beliefs and faith. I, I imagine you've gained business as well. I mean, you made national headlines. I saw you on Fox. I, I, I read about your story in papers. I mean, this this has been a national story. Yeah, I actually need to apologize because because my my business is so tiny. Uh, I. I have probably gotten a lot of calls that are extremely valuable. You know, a lot of emails are extremely valuable, but my phone is a complete and utter war zone, and I'm just one guy, essentially. <laughs> you know, it's like me and my parents and my wife and children, so handling all of this is not something we're, uh, okay. we're equipped for. And um, but, but I would say that there are two uh, well-known Catholic chefs in Louisiana specifically that have reached out to us to, to help and to meet with us. and. And so that's ahead of us. And you know, even before you know the news, the news came out. Friends were coming to the farm and buying product, and they wanted to help. And so that outpouring of support, we are extremely grateful for. We've been very well taken care of. There's really there's nothing we need. And I would I just I would encourage people. You know, if you want to help us, just make make that devotion to the Sacred Heart. Um, pray the Rosary, yes, and throw in your home. Pray a novena to the Sacred Heart. Mm. Make a, the morning offering of Saint Therese, which of course is a prayer to the Sacred Heart. Um, those are the things that we have to keep the the Sacred Heart as the the focus here and keep the message pure because this is the battle's pitched here, right? It's been given to us. The Sacred Heart and the burning love uh, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus for all mankind has been pitched against the false claim of love, right? In pride um, in our in our nation, and so so th- it's very clear what what standard we need to fight under. Ross McKnight, we will leave it there. Thank you for your time. For more information on Backwater Farmstead, visit Backwater Foie Gras. That's Backwater, F-O-I-E-G-R-A-S dot com. Thank you. God bless you.